Hello everyone, welcome to Camp Tai Handmade, and today we're going to work on learning how to read crochet abbreviations. Let's get started. Hello everyone. As I said in the intro, we're going to be learning how to read a crochet pattern. But the first thing we have to do is we have to learn the different um, abbreviations and the symbols. Now, when you're crocheting, when you begin to crochet, you definitely want to learn like the main uh the main stitches when you're going to uh, crochet so what i did was i just put little dashes next to the ones that we're going to focus on for today and in the series we're just going to go from easy to intermediate to expert as far as learning how to read your pattern um this is just more or less for those who find a pattern and you want to be able to copy that pattern you should be able to you at least want to know at least the abbreviations some patterns do come with um just the symbols um which is a little harder for me so i just like to deal with the abbreviations we're not even going to get into the symbols portion of this we're just going to do the abbreviations so i have some um it's just a simple red heart yarn here and let me zoom out just a little bit oops that's in not out okay so we have some a yellow red heart here and I have uh, my five millimeter uh, bamboo hook, which is my favorite hook. And so we're going to go ahead and go through each stitch. So our first stitch, let me zoom back in here. Our first stitch is going to be our chain stitch, which if you've been crocheting for a very long time, you already know what that means. So we're going to go ahead and do a chain stitch here. And this, again, it's just to show you. Um, what it looks like and again what each symbol not each symbol but each abbreviation stand for us again we're going to ignore the symbol portion of this so to make our chain stitch everyone again has their own way of making their slip knot that is how I make mine very quick quick we're going to do a quick chain of 10 and again this is just to show you how that is done if you are a beginner so I'm going to zoom out a little bit Sorry. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to make a chain of, let's say, 20. Okay, so we have 20 chains. And that is what it means in your book when you're reading patterns and you get to that chain. and it asks you to chain 20 it'll say ch and the letter the amount of chains that the pattern calls for will be right next to it so we did a chain of 20 so i'm going to go ahead and put chain 20. and this book is actually called a to z crochet i got it off of amazon i think i got it for like 14 bucks or something like that so that's where i got that from so that's what we're learning from so that um, you can purchase one yourself and see what I'm talking about up close. So our next one is going to be the single crochet. And that is what that symbol looks like for that. An S and a C stands for single crochet. So we're going to go ahead and do a quick row of single crochet. And again, if you know how to crochet, you can probably skip this video. So we're going to add one more chain there because we want our uh, single crochets to add up to 10 single crochets. So we're going to, we added another chain. We're going to skip the first chain or the chain that we just made. And we're going to go in with our single crochet. Yarn over, pull through. Go in, yarn over, pull through. And the same thing all the way across.
So we have 20 single crochets going all the way across. Okay. And the way that you count your stitches is if you look at the top of your stitch, you'll see what it looks like kind of like a V right here. In your pattern, it kind of looks like a V. If I can get the camera to act right. Okay, you see that? There's a V. That's how you count. So that stands, that's one single crochet. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, so let's go back to our book. So now we just did our single crochet, which is um, SC. That is the abbreviation for single crochet. Now we're going to do a, um, a double crochet. We're going to skip down to here and do a double crochet, which is right there. And again, if you are familiar with crochet, you already know what to do. So it, normally you would chain three for a double crochet, but I always just chain two. I don't see the purpose of chaining three. You're just making the edge bulkier and making it stick out more. So you're going to yarn over, go into your first stitch. Remember, do not skip that first stitch. That is your first, that is uh, the first of your row. So that's one. And this is our double crochet. And I'm only going to do a few of these because there's more um, stitches that need to be done in this, this row. But as you can see, I did one, two, three, four, five double crochets across. So if your pattern asks for five double crochets across, it would look like this. It would say double crochet five. And that's how that would look on your paper when you look at it. Same thing for the chain. When you're looking at the pattern and it says chain 20, that's what that would look like. You'll see the abbreviation first and then you'll see the number. So our next one is going to be the half double crochet, which is HDC. Let's go ahead and do, we're going to do five half double crochets. Yarn over, go into your stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and go through all of your chain, your loops there. That makes your half double crochet. Let's do that again. Yarn over, go into your stitch, pull through, yarn over, pull through all stitches. And that gives you a half double crochet. I'm going to come a little closer so we can see. That makes your half double crochet. Okay, one more time. That makes a half double crochet. Okay, and if you need to, you can slow the video down. If I'm going too fast for you, you can slow the video down. So our next, so then after you do the half double crochet, it'll say half double crochet five in your pattern. Okay, we're going to work on is the triple crochet and that takes up a lot more yarn than most of our than most of um, your stitches. It takes up a lot of yarn than most of your basic stitches. Let me put it that way, because there are other stitches that take up a lot more yarn than the triple crochet. So I'm just going to say that it takes up a lot more yarn, it uses a lot more yarn than your standard single or double crochet. So let's go ahead and do our triple crochet. Which just basically is you're going to wrap your yarn around two times to get a triple crochet. Go into your work, yarn over, pull through, pull through two, yarn over, pull through, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And that's how you get a triple crochet, which in um, England uh, they call a treble, T-R-E-B-L-E, -E, and not a triple crochet, which is what we call it in the U.S., so let's do that again. You go around two times, go into your uh, previous stitch, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two again. And that just adds height to your project. So it's going to begin to go up this way. Let's do that one more time. And that is your triple or treble crochet. 
Again, remember to wrap where I go around two times. And last one. And that is your treble crochet. And you can see the different stitches here. The difference in the stitches, how um, that treble crochet is much higher than that uh, half double crochet. And then you got the um, double crochet here. And the bottom portion is our single crochet. Let's see if we can see it better from the other side. But there we have that. <clears throat> So let's go ahead and continue on. So our next stitch is going to be the front post double crochet. Oh, and by the way, if you when you're doing your triple crochet, it'll say triple crochet five since we only did five stitches in that. So our next one is going to be our front post double crochet. And that's pretty simple. So now we're just going to finish off this row with some double crochets. And remember when you're doing your ends of your row, you know you want to have 20 stitches all the way across. This looks like wibbly wobbly because we're doing different stitches and of course they're all different sizes. But you want to make sure that what you start off is what you end with. So you start this bottom row with 20, you want to make sure this row up here has 20 stitches, whatever stitch that is, double crochet, single crochet, whatever. And make sure that it has 20 stitches going all the way across or it will begin to look funny so let's go ahead and do the uh, front post double crochet and we're going to chain two for that as i said i do not chain three for double crochets we're going to turn our work and the front post double crochet is fairly simple you're just going in between your stitches and coming out the other side of the following stitch so let's say we decide that we want to skip this chain and we want to make this count as a double crochet. So we're going to make this count as a double crochet. We're going to yarn over. You're going to go in between the first and the second stitch, the first and the second double crochet from that previous row. You're going to go in between that and you're going to come out between the second and third stitch in the back. So you're coming through the back because your uh, double crochet is going to show up in the front. Okay, let's do the next one like that again. Let's yarn over. We're going to go in between uh, double crochet stitch two and three from the previous row. Go in between that. We're going to come out of the double crochet between three and four. So you yarn over and pull through. Yarn over again, pull through two. On over, pull through two, and that will give you your double crochet. Now, the beginning, the beginning will look a little bit weird, but as you go back and forth, back and forth, it will look much better. But again, this is to show you how to read your pattern and how to implement that into your pattern. So, yes, yarn over again, go in, come out the other side, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That will give you your double crochet remember we counted this as one double crochet so that's one two three four double crochets that we have going across let's do one more yarn over go in through the side and out the other side yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and there you have it you have five front post double crochet if you look at it in the back, you can see it's kind of lifted back here. And that's just simply because you're grabbing from the back and you're looping your yarn around the back of that previous double crochet or whatever stitch it is that you're using. So we have five, one, two, three, four, five front post double crochets. Okay. So the next one is going to be... <clears throat> A back post double crochet and again in your pattern it'll say however many times it wants you to front post double crochet it'll say FPDC 5 
and that means front post double crochet five times. It might even have an X right next to it to let you know that that's how many times that it needs to be done. So now we're going to go to the back post double crochet. Now the back post double crochet is just like your front except they're going through the back part. We can always um, look at the back to see what I mean, which is back that we want to be grabbing on to that next double crochet right there. So we're going to yarn over. You can even twist your yarn just a little bit to see what you're doing. We're going to go through the back, through, through this way and out through the side, come up and do your double crochet. And that's, I just did it like that so that you can basically see what's going on in the back part when you do that. But for normal, uh, normally, you would go this way and go around the back, come out the back, and just make your double crochet. Okay? Let's do that again. I'm going to go a little bit slower. Go out the back and do a double crochet. And if you have to flip your work over it doesn't matter it's not a big deal you can do that to make sure you're getting it the way uh, getting it correctly you can make a double crochet like that just try not to pull too hard on that so now we have one two three let's do two more around the back and through up this way that's another double crochet <clears throat> in the back loop in uh, I'm sorry a back a back post double crochet so that's what that looks like in the back that's what that looks like in the back and we did five of them one two three four five so there's five there And again, you can always go back to you can always go back to the beginning of the tutorial to start over just to make sure. But as you can see here, these are all the stitches that we've done. But this this um, book actually here has a lot of nice patterns in it. It teaches you how to to, to decrease. It also teaches you how to, you know, do the basic six stitches, single crochet. If you don't feel like sitting in front of um, on YouTube or anything like that, it's a really great book. It teaches you a lot. Um, it, again, it's called A to Z of Crochet, the ultimate guide for beginning to advanced crocheter. So it's a really great book um, to have. But again, um, that'll be the end of my tutorial. Um, we just started with the basic, excuse me, the basic stitches for today. We just started with the basic stitches for today. And as we go along, we will um, move on to a project that has a pattern on it. But I just wanted to show you the basics, um, the basic stitches and how to read those in your book. That'll be it for today and our tutorial, real quick tutorial. Um, I will be uh, back for another tutorial sometime this week or maybe even next week. I'm not quite sure. Um, but thanks for stopping by and learning how to read a crochet pattern and just learning the abbreviations. We'll be doing an actual pattern, an actual reading of a pattern in the next turn. So stay tuned. Have a great night.